like a bell cut. Hello everyone, it is me, the guy who calls himself a melodic cashew. The wild update, we all know it is coming soon to Minecraft. And with it, it brings a brand new forest biome, the mangrove swamp and everything in it, such as trees and frogs. And down below, we can sometimes have the deep dark biome and everything found in it, such as these giant cities. But what if I told you there was more planned for the wild update that did not really make the cut? Today, I'll be explaining everything that we knew was coming to the wild update that was scrapped or delayed. And let's just get right into the video because I mean, we could keep it short and sweet, right? There's not, like, a whole lot. But before we get started, I would like to let you know that we will not be talking about archaeology or the other biome losers, or even the mob losers, since those were never confirmed to come into the update. Maybe you just assume they would, but yeah, they were never confirmed. Today we will be talking about cancelled confirmed features. To the people who are calling this update Caves and Cliffs Part 3, think again because there is still a Caves and Cliffs feature that has not made it to the wild update. And if I were to type in this command, that is the bundle. The bundle is only accessible through commands at the moment on Java Edition, but you can easily get it in survival if you have a data pack that adds in the crafting recipe, or if it, you, yeah, just put it in a chest, like a loot table, and then you can find it there. Data packs can easily make this obtainable in survival, but it's only on Java Edition. Point is, it is not coming in the wild update officially, and the bundle works exactly how it did since 1.17 and 1.18 it got these kinds of sounds. And I believe using a bundle does not even activate the skulk stuff either. Of course it would activate doing that, but packing things... Yeah. That should be considered a vibration, right? I was not even crouching. Bundles, though, the reason they are not coming in the wild update is because there are problems with touchscreen controls on Bedrock Edition, because, I mean, how would that even work, right? They should have thought of this before giving us the bundle and showing it off. But they are actively working on the bundle, and it should be coming in a later version that would be soon, such as the next major update, possibly. The Goat Horn. We all know it is coming in the wild update, but did you know at one point there were copper goat horns, and you got them from either finding them in outpost chests, or by crafting it just like this. A copper ingot in a V shape, three copper ingots, and a goat horn in the middle, and then, yeah, copper horn. <laughs> Copper horns have three different sounds, each one for looking up, one for crouching, and the other is just doing whatever else. The copper horn was added to Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 1.18.30 under the experimental toggle, but it will be removed in the very next version. And also there were ten different types. This one I got is Old Hammond Rest thing. I think if I were to grab the same goat horn and craft another copper horn, it would be the same thing. Yes, so the goat horn depends on which copper horn you get. But also, interestingly enough, here we have 10 goat horns, but in the final update, there will be only 8 goat horns. The two that have been removed, I think, are just raid sounds, because, I mean, who wants three goat horns that have to do with the raid sound that sound exactly the same, pretty much. So this was a planned wild update feature, but when community feedback was mostly positive, they decided to scrap it anyway. I already covered a video pretty much explaining the copper horn, but since it will not be added, you do not have to watch the video unless you want to. It is rare when something makes it into a preview or snapshot and then gets just removed, unlike with the bundles, they just got hidden behind the experimental toggle, but again, unlike bundles, copper horns will never come to Minecraft. It is not just not coming in 1.19 the wild update, it is never coming to Minecraft. 
Did you know that the LA was supposed to have another ability? That is right, it was actually supposed to dance, as we will see in a second. Oh good, the quality got better. It was kind of bad at first. As you can see there, it did a little twirl. I assume it would do it again, so yep, there we go. Also, not to mention the fact that it can close its eyes like that. The LA in-game cannot close its eyes at all, and it just keeps dancing and twirling like that. Maybe you thought that that was just an animation to show off the LA, and it will not actually come into the game, but here in this Ask Mojang that they made, a few days after the 1.19 reveal, they actually said it again. So I'm gonna fly over to where the music is. Thank you, LA. I'm the LA and I also dance. <laughs> That's how the LA works! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely looks fitting for the LA. I thought this was confirmed to come. I thought this was going to come with the LA, and I know, based on the comment section of this video, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, right here. Poor guy. He said, even if it doesn't dupe, it still has my vote for having the ability to dance. But unfortunately, they just made the LA not dance at all without actually confirming so. But we all know at this point, unfortunately, it will not dance. And I believe if we just turn up the volume of this video, we can actually hear Tagi Yen say something about the dancing. Let's listen. And you dance too? Amazing! It so yeah, he was supposed to dance too, and also close its eyes, but... So, even though this mob is coming in the wild update, there were some things that it was going to do that are not coming, and may not ever come. Perhaps it was just a concept, maybe it got scrapped, maybe it was an idea, maybe it did not work out, who knows. I wish this was a thing with the LA, but unfortunately, it is not. At least for this update. As we know, walking on wool, or doing anything on wool, prevents noise that can travel to the Hulk sensors or warden. But did you know at one point, they actually planned to actually balance this out? Like to prevent you from using it just to avoid the ancient city's horror. That is right, in the Deep Dark Experimental Snapshot, there is a feature replacing wool on Skulk would still cause noise, but not breaking it. Any other type of Skulk block? or just normal blocks that are not skulk, it would not care. Just had to be normal skulk blocks for it to make noise. This feature was later scrapped without any explanation. And here in the actual 1.19 update, placing wool on skulk is still silent. So they completely scrapped the changes they're going to make to wool occlusion. So I wonder why, because you can definitely cheese the ancient city and deep dark easily by just placing down wool. Reminds me of those elytra changes that were going to come in 1.18 but was scrapped without any actual explanation. So another confirmed feature that did not end up coming. If you know very much about the wild update, you probably know these next ones. So first, let's talk about the Firefly mob. The Firefly was a mob planned to be frog food until the community had to teach Mojang that they were poisonous to frogs, and instead of them just simply adding them without frogs eating them, or like parrots, make frogs eat them but they die, they just completely scrapped the idea of adding fireflies. Although I would not really want it if it was just two pixels in the final release anyway, so fireflies, they definitely fit this update very well the way they described it at Minecraft Live 2021, but unfortunately, it has been moved to the Ideas Library. But what is the Ideas Library, you might ask? Well, that is where they keep all of their cancelled ideas, and they take them out of the Ideas Library when they think it makes sense for an update. Therefore, we could get Fireflies in an upcoming update, but likely not anytime soon. Next is a whole Birch Forest revamp. So they showed off one picture of it, also kind of talked about it while doing so, and it looks amazing. It definitely looks wild, nature-like, like the update was supposed to be. They were working on this, though. It was also just a concept. But 
just like Fireflies, they did not have enough time to work on it. They kind of just gave up on the idea and put it into the ideas library as well. Although I feel like we knew more about Fireflies in the Birch Forest update anyway. I mean, hopefully next year, they do not show concept art when they reveal the next major update. By next year, I mean this year, because Minecraft Live still has not happened as of me posting and recording this video in 2022. There was also more concept art than just the Birch Forest, but most of that stuff came apart from, of course, Fireflies and even Flower Lilies. As you can see here, there are actually flower lilies in the swamp, which I would love to have, especially cattails as well, but those are nowhere to be seen here. And for cancelled wild update features, I think that is everything, at least everything major, I suppose you could say. There could be small things I missed, but yeah, that is everything I have on my list. Now, as I said a couple times in this video, everything cancelled is either coming at a later date, or might come to Minecraft one day, or unfortunately may never come to the game, meaning definitely not. So, if you enjoyed this breakdown of everything not coming in the wild update, please consider leaving a like on the video as it really helps out a ton. Also consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you never miss another video. Coming soon, I will be making a video that was the opposite of this one, and that would be everything coming in the wild update, so stay tuned for that. Another reason to turn on post notifications. I will see you guys in the very next video, which will be coming out soon, of course. Goodbye.